Welcome to the Vernon Community Network, a group of nonprofit organizations, local government and education, and the faith-based community. This is an overview of our community plan for children and youth ages birth to 18, a result of parents, school, and community working together to keep our kids in focus. Picture this. All Vernon children, birth to 18, are safe, healthy, and productive. If this is the result we want, we have to first ask ourselves, how are we doing? Where do we begin? We began with a mix of people who live, work, or worship in Vernon. They were willing and able to commit to a two-year planning process that would lead to better results for children and families in Vernon. Additional folks with areas of expertise in safety, health, or productivity were invited to round out our teams. Others contributed as needed. We couldn't have done this without the generous support of our funders, private organizations, our town, and local partners. We agreed upon three main areas of focus, safe, healthy, and productive. To organize our thinking, we then identified three specific groups of people, our young children, our school and teenaged youth, and our community at large. So, with our leadership team in place and areas of focus identified, our safe, healthy and productive teams explored how we were currently doing in reaching our desired result. They collected facts and figures and talked to a variety of people to better understand current community conditions in order to develop a baseline starting point. Caution. When looking at any data, we need to keep in mind that data is one-dimensional, not always timely, subject to error, and not always accessible. In the plan, you will see some of our data points are displayed in graphs. When at all possible, these graphs will show several years' worth of information to see what the trends are. To more completely understand the data, the teams also looked at feedback from our community members gained through focus groups and interviews. The teams spent many months digging, sifting and refining the story behind the data in order to make it multidimensional and alive. We wanted to be certain that any action toward improvements would be the right ones and would make the best use of our time and resources. To make the data more meaningful, 
team members gathered real stories from real situations in Vernon, although the real names were not used. These stories best represent what the data showed, and to put a local face on the facts and figures. With these facts, figures, and stories being true, we asked ourselves, what happens if we do nothing different? In order to answer this, we needed to be aware of current local efforts as well as proven best practice to help children and youth to be safe, healthy and productive. It is important that we do not duplicate or replicate these efforts, nor assign blame if there are our gaps. No one agency, entity or individual can do this work alone. Now, we're ready to move from talk to action. What can we do collectively over the next several years to improve or move the needle on our data trends? For each area of focus, the teams developed specific steps to take in order to make a difference in that area. These steps can take anywhere from several months to several years to complete, and deliberate effort was made to ensure that some of these steps would be of low or no cost. We also recognized that further research may be needed to better understand other issues, perhaps because the data does not exist or is not readily available. These are called data development agenda items and appear periodically in the plan. Perhaps most important is that we hold ourselves accountable to whether the steps that we've taken are moving us in the right direction. We measure our performance by continually asking, how much did we do? How well did we do it? And most challenging, is anyone better off? The answers to these questions give us the information we need to measure our progress so that we do move closer to all Vernon children, birth to 18, being safe, healthy, and productive. Some of these measures have been developed and look like this, while other measures still need to be created. Over the next three years, we will be implementing the plan. Like moving pictures, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. In order to successfully implement our plan, we identified partners who shared in our desire for positive outcomes for children and youth, created a structure of governance that promotes shared ownership and accountability, and designed a financial plan that serves as a roadmap to identify the various resources needed, such as time, dollars, and talents. This is a sample matrix of our partners and their connection to certain strategies. This is the governance structure of the VCN Community Plan. As shown here, interaction by all parties involved in the implementation of the plan is dynamic and founded on two-way communication. This provides the greatest opportunity for feedback and support of all implementation and future planning. The VCN Executive Committee serves as the Oversight Committee. The Vernon Youth Services Bureau supervises the project staff who work directly with the committees formed in line with the three sections of the plan, children, youth, and community. The committees share their work with the VCN General Membership, which provides feedback to these committees as well as to the Executive Committee. 
the VCN Executive Committee reports progress on the plan implementation to the Town Council, Board of Education, and community partners. This is a sample page from the financial plan. Each strategy and action has or will need an estimated cost for implementation. Beginning in fiscal year 2012, the base, up to and including fiscal year 2015. With all the charts, graphs, data points, measures, finances and governance structure, you may be wondering, what does this mean to me and where do I fit in? invite you to move from talk to action by becoming a member of Vernon Community Network and actively participating in one of the committees as we collectively keep our kids in focus. For more information on membership and to receive your copy of the plan, please call 860-870-3555 or visit our website at www.onevernon.org.